Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. A lot's happening in the NBA right now for futures betters and for people just looking for teams to get to the conference finals, you need to pay close attention to what's happening. For anyone naive enough to believe that NBA teams don't tank games, what I want you to do is consider the last two games played by the Miami Heat. Right? Let me just say, I believe, and if I'm betting with my money, then I'm going by my beliefs. I believe that the Miami Heat don't want to deal with the Chicago Bulls or with the Brooklyn Nets before the Eastern Conference Finals, right? You want the easiest road possible to the Conference Finals. Now here, understand that on Friday, April 11th, the Heat beat the Indiana Pacers at home. All the Heat had to do was win their remaining games, winnable games against the Hawks, the Wizards, and 76ers. And they would be the one seed in the East. But understand, they didn't want to be the one seed in the East because, of course, the one seed in the East in the second round of the playoffs was going to face the winner of the four versus five bracket. Right? We know the Brooklyn Nets are the fifth seed. At issue is the fourth seed, and right now that fourth seed are the Chicago Bulls. So, of course, the Heat beat the Pacers to prove that they could beat the Pacers. And then, of course, the defending champs against the Atlanta Hawks somehow found a way to lose by 13 points. They follow it up the next game against the Washington Wizards by sitting out the league's best player, LeBron James and Chris Bosh. They lose that game by 21 points, right? My point to you is everyone understands that the bracket involving the Brooklyn Nets is going to be the difficult bracket. Right now, if you're trying to figure out who comes out of the East, and if you're trying to play different series, right, pick different series winners, just understand that right now the Indiana Pacers have locked up the one seed in the East and that might not be a good thing, right? The Pacers have pretty much a layup, um, you know, in the first round against the Atlanta Hawks, a team below 500, right? They're one of the teams that just beat the Miami Heat. Um, in the second round, the Pacers are going to have to deal with the Bulls versus Brooklyn, the winner of that series. The Miami Heat now have almost guaranteed themselves a spot in the Eastern Conference Finals because they would play in the first round the Charlotte Bobcats, right? In the second round, they would play the winner of the Toronto Raptors versus the Washington Wizards. So if things don't change right now and these seedings hold, if you're a futures better, just understand that the Miami Heat will almost certainly be one of the last four teams standing. They won't even be challenged until the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, there are a couple of games, though, that could change the landscape. Right now, the Chicago Bulls have the identical record with the Toronto Raptors, right? Because the Raptors have won the Atlantic Division, the Raptors are actually the three seed. But, and it's a big but, understand, if the Raptors were to lose their last game, and it's on the road against the New York Knicks, a team that's enigmatic, but that on a given night cannot score you, right? And if the Bulls beat the Charlotte Bobcats in Charlotte, then the Bulls would leapfrog over the Raptors and would end up with the three seed, right? That would actually weaken the bracket in which the Pacers play, right? And that would place the Bulls against the Washington Wizards in the first round of the playoffs. So if you're an NBA fan, you need to look hard at 
Toronto's last game and Chicago's last game to figure out the lay of the land. Let's quickly move to the uh, Western Conference. I've said this before, just a couple of comments right now. Stick a fork in the Golden State Warriors. Right? I've said it in earlier videos. I don't like the fact that two different assistant coaches were shown the door. Now, of course, we have the spectacle of Andrew Bogut, their starting center, having rib problems to the point where he's going to have his ribs examined. Right? That's not a good sign, especially when your first round opponent are the Los Angeles Clippers. Right? I simply do not believe in the Golden State Warriors. The Andrew Bogut story is one you need to pay close attention to. Also, it looks like Memphis has the upper hand and will be the eighth seed in the West. Who cares? Right? Whether it's Memphis or Phoenix, understand that first round opponent is going to be the San Antonio Spurs. Right? I believe the Spurs are going to come out of their bracket. I don't see anybody in that bracket, and it includes the Houston Rockets, who did well against them in the regular season, and the Portland Trailblazers mounting much of a challenge. If there's a team out west where the brackets seem to favor them, I would say it's the one seed, the Spurs. Understand the two seed, the Thunder, are going to have to play the Mavericks in the first round of the playoffs, and the Mavericks are more difficult than their seventh seed suggests, then they're likely going to have to face the Clippers in the second round of the playoffs. I believe that's a rougher road than San Antonio faces. Anyway, we'll continue to update uh, this space with some NBA thoughts. Let me hear yours. Leave your comments for us here in the comment section to this video. Understand our goal is to try to beat the casino and look at casino miss pricings. Let me also say too, look at the futures odds right now for both the Bulls and the Nets. Understand necessarily, if they face each other in the first round, one of those two teams necessarily would get to the second round. And of course, they would likely play the Pacers in the second round. Let me just say, if there's a high seed that's faltering right now, I would argue that it's the Indiana Pacers. Right, So my point is, if you're a positional better, you might want to take futures positions on both the Bulls and the Nets right here. Right, Let me point out, too, that another reason you might want to do so is, let's say the Bulls do leapfrog Toronto. It's a long shot, but might happen. Understand, you likely would then get both the Bulls and the Nets in the second round of the playoffs because the Bulls would then end up facing the Wizards in the first round. I think they get by that series. I don't care whether Brooklyn faces, let's say, uh, Toronto because I believe even though Toronto is the three seed, I think Brooklyn beats the Toronto Raptors to make it to the second round. That's if the Bulls get out of their bracket and actually leapfrog Toronto. So give it a look. Just keep in mind, even at this late stage in the season, Toronto versus the Knicks and the Bulls versus the Charlotte Bobcats in their last games of the season have playoff implications. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.